before I, oh this is the mid cheek line this one this one hi everyone this is coco you are facing a coach who teaches celebrity clients such as kim kardashian featured at shark tank and america's got talent today i'd like to talk about eye back if you're concerned about eye back or hollow above the upper eyelid or even this mid cheek line it's kind of the same thing so if you are concerned with one of them or in general aging in general please keep watching first of all let's talk about why eye back or hollow or mid cheek line happens in this eye socket there is eyeball this eyeball right so because it's an important organ for your face behind the eyeball there's a fat to protect it but with age this fat is the fat loss same as the face fat is reduced and also downward sag downward that is how you get this one eye back and because you lost the fat from the top down, this fat is gone. That is how you get, you know, the hollow on upper eyelid. And also another thing, <laughs> this is the mid cheek line. This one, this one, because, have you seen this? <laughs> this one shows ovicular circuli muscle and if you're concerned, if you're concerned, mid cheek line is like this, right? Like this. That means your ocular circular muscle is saggy. This is the line. If it's lifted, the cheeks are lifted, both are lifted, you're not gonna see it. So in other words, if that fat to protect the eyeball, downward, right? And then you're gonna get eye, eye back, hollow on the upper eyelid, and also, this mid cheek line, three things happen, maybe even more, actually even more because the eye muscle is lifting up the cheek muscle because it, you see it's connected, right? But because eye is saggy, your cheek is saggy, hmm, cheek is saggy, and then you get the jowl, you get the saggy neck, everything drops downward. So now let's talk about three exercises and tips to improve the condition, try to minimize the eye back, Try to minimize the hollow. Try to minimize the mid cheek line. Let's do it. Number one, lower eyelid lift up. Classic. That's my super favorite. So many people claims that they see big difference. Before, after. Big difference, don't you think? It almost like like a triple eyelid to double eyelid. Eyes more saggier and more up and defined. In fact, this is a good thing. The eye muscle, the tiny lower eyelid, this tear line is because very, very small muscle and very super sleepy because it's blue, blue, right? Dark blue means super sleepy. Blue means sleepy. And this is dark blue. So super sleepy muscle. If you wake this up, the entire thing is going to be awake. And relatively, this is a smaller muscle, so easier fix. You're going to see the difference more quickly than other areas like this. Mm. 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 <laughs> Do you see it? It's very, very little. You don't want to do big movement. If you do big movement, you're going to move other muscles. That's not what we are doing. So, if you are not used to this, and if you feel like either one, only try either one is easier, alternating this side only, this side only, it's fine for now. At, at the later, you want to be able to do both at the same time, but might be difficult for you for beginners but mm, 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 mm. 
You see? Yep. <laughs> you don't want to do like this. Like, I'm using Hapa eyelid. That's not what we are doing. It's difficult though, because this is a round donut ring. It's connected, but we are trying to move only lower eyelid, this tear line. Yep. And also, another common mistake is like my mouth is moving, my cheeks are moving, or something like that. You don't want to kind of separate other muscles, although it's dif difficult. You want to engage only this tear through lower eyelid not this big one but this tiny one another tip you want to do tongue posture if you don't know what mewing tongue posture is please check our videos mewing 101 that's a super basic but the reason why you want to do this tongue posture in good face resting face when you do this exercise is you want to have good foundation this is very very tiny movement right so it's very sensitive <laughs> detail oriented and you need a lot of focus in order to have good focus here you need good foundation strong foundation for example imagine you are on a balance ball and standing on the balance ball and doing like this <laughs> like moving the dumbbell or something and moving around <laughs> like this. <laughs> if the balance ball is moving around it's hard to focus this movement, right? It's the same thing. That's why it's good to have a stable foundation on the eye. And we are doing this muscle. So we want to have stable yellow maxilla bone. In order to do that, tongue needs to stabilize too. Now let's everyone together 10 times, 10 repetitions. You can only do this only like 10 repetitions per day or even more. But quality matters than quantity. So even if you just only 10 times when you, I don't know, skincare or makeup or something, you do it, it's super effective. Unlike body, facial muscles that do not need a lot of workout. The strategy is more important. So let's everyone do tongue up, teeth apart, close your mouth if you can so that you can nose breathing and focus. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just 10 repetition per day. If this is difficult, there are some tips to make things easier. So let's do multiple versions and to find out which one works for you. First one is this piece. You're going to piece here and then touch it. Touching the muscle helps feel it. That's why. Mm. Mm. Three, four, five. And you can do 10 times or another one is look down, look down. This is actually my favorite because when I look down, I can, do you see the blurry nose? And then when you look, when you the lift up the lower eyelid, don't you see a little bit like blurry, I don't know, like eyebrow, no, <laughs> eyelash or some kind of stuff moving, cheek moving, don't you see it? Not the cheek, but the, yeah, I definitely feel some black stuff, which is eyelash. If you see it, it's easier, maybe. And you can also with mirror and then do like this and then. You can see it as well. Another one is You can also see that's good. Oh, 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 like that. You can see the movement, and because it's stretching, it helps you feel the muscle better. 
although I'm not super fan of this all thing too much. You want to do quick because you don't want to do the all and then stretch the field drum too long. <laughs> you don't want to do that too long. It's, if it's quick, like 10 seconds per day, that's okay. But in general, you don't want to stretch this field drum because this is a sleepy muscle and with age, it becomes longer. That's why my favorite is look, uh, no, oh, but look down and see it. But let me know which one works for you. By the way, did you guys know that we have Coco Face Yoga app, KFI on iPhone and Coco Face Yoga on Android. Personalize exercises and check your facial symmetry. Second exercise to lift up, activate the lower eyelid to activate the entire eye muscle <laughs> is this one. You're going to use fingers and pinkies are on your eyebrow. And then I don't know why when I do this, it becomes blue. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. So bear with me. And then one, two, three, four, five, like this. And then shoulder down. Mm. Then slowly open your eyes without moving eyebrow or without moving forehead. So that means you don't want to do like this. No, that's the wrong muscle. We are training this eye muscle only, right? So the reason why we have this finger here to feel the movement. You don't want to feel the movement. I don't know again why it's blue. Every time I do this, become... I don't know. I'm trying to get used to it. <laughs> Sorry about that. But close your eyes and then slowly open without moving forehead, without moving your eyebrows. I'm going to do this so, so that you can see it. But not moving, right? And then as big as possible, like a fire is coming from there, like a fire. Then slowly, 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 slowly. Almost close. You guys keep pla placing your finger here, though. Play, uh, no, placing close, almost close. Try not to squint here. Almost close a little bit more, and then slowly open without raising eyebrow or forehead or any other muscle except eyes. And second, five. Then slowly, slowly, slowly squint without squinting or frowning here. A little bit more. Keep mewing, keep teeth apart, close your mouth if possible, the nose breathing. And then last one, slowly open. Without moving any other muscle, slowly. A lot of focus is needed. So when you release it, if you feel this, Fatigue, you did a good job. During the exercise, did your eyebrow try to lift up or not? Let me know if it was easy for you not to move your forehead and then you don't have to use a finger. You don't have to use a hand. But it's good to check with mirror though so that make sure that it's not moving. Yep, this one, helps the pinky is uh, uh, on your fore, on your eyebrow, right? Because otherwise it try to uh, 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 lift up. So this is stopping. Pink, pinkies are stopping it. So it helping not to move. But if you are more advanced level and you don't have to, you can do this without finger. And then just like this, open and then screen. And all slowly open. Five. Then you repeat this three repetition. Only three repetition per day. Only three repetition. It's again facial muscles, body muscles, so different. The purpose of the facial muscle is to create facial expression and some function, like like uh, eating, yawning, or speaking, or those things. It does not need a lot of exercise. It's just strategy. If you follow me, it's going to be fine. <laughs> That's to keep you guys motivated. See, before, after, she's my friend, Laura. And when she's smiling, it was like this squinty eyes. But now this smile is much more 
vivid. More eyes are defined, way bigger. Looks cute, right? Mouth breathing and I wanted to improve that. And using Coco's tape really helped that too. It helped me to focus and retrain myself so I could nasal breathe which is what I want to do. You have to nasal breathe. And doing the facial exercises with the tool helped strengthen the muscles back to where they need to be in order so I can transition back to appropriate nasal breathing. And this helped me a lot to do. And some nights it will fall off and that's okay. And I knew that I'm still working, I'm still, it's a process. This is not a quick fix, so it is a process to get there. But it certainly does help and it can get, help you engage it helps you know what you're doing at night, so very helpful. Facial exercise to reduce eye back and hollow and reduce the mid cheek line. Number three, actually it's not exercise, it's a habit. Even if you do a lot of exercises, if you keep doing bad face posture, you're not gonna see good result. To me, exercise is to master the blue and red so that you guys can including myself we can use the facial muscles in better ways for daily facial expression and functions right so just, just doing exercise is not good nope nope no 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 no, no. <laughs> and habit bad habit that you might be doing is that when you are surprised or when you not just surprised when you're surprised <gasps> that's okay because you're surprised when you're surprised if you're surprised at a surprise like hmm, that doesn't look like surprise right so you want to express your face and then <gasps> and then raising <gasps> it's okay because i'm not gonna get surprised so many times <laughs> how many times do you get surprised per day I don't know, one time, twice or something, right? <laughs> I don't know, depends on the person, but I don't get surprised that many times. So I don't have to use this. <gasps> I don't have to do this. But so many people doing this unnecessarily. Uh, in my opinion, <laughs> I see because of this job thing, face yoga, I have a occupational habit to check people's facial expression all the time on TV or regular people in person or anything. And I noticed that lots of people do things unnecessarily, unnecessarily, because every time you do this, you are using this muscle and I muscle become weak. The more you use forehead muscle upward, then eye muscle become weak and then saggy, right? Because with age, forehead muscle become more stronger and we depend on, we depend on this muscle too much. And then this, the, the, other one, the other one, it's a set become weaker. In other words, if you train this and use this muscle more, you do not have to depend on forehead. This is a muscle memory. And closing the lines, all that. But you don't, you know, you don't have to do this <gasps> so many times. Another thing, makeup or anything. Every time you touch your face, like this, I notice so many times people. Every time they touch their face, it's a human nature, human something. They do this. You guys do this probably. Makeup might be doing it. You can, you can do this like this. You can do this. You don't have to do this. You can just do it like this because if you do like this and I'm doing makeup, it's kind of weird because the position is wrong. I mean, it's not wrong, but it's a different position than regular facial resting face, right? So makeup will be messed up. So it's better to do the resting face and then do makeup. And another thing is that I can talk this forever, but every time you do this, if you keep doing it, it's not just building this unnecessary muscle but also stretching the eye upper eyelid you know with age upper eyelid starts saggy and then make triple eyelid or some wrinkle 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 kind of thing happens because you might be doing like this thing and then stretching this skin too much too many times yep so it's good to be in addition to the exercise Please, in addition to the two exercises, the previous one, please 
try not to do this thing. You can live without doing that. I'm already doing so many times for this purpose of the exit video. So I'm not going to do anymore because I don't want to have this bad habit. When I was mm, late 20s, I'm 44 years old as of now. And I noticed that if I do, keep doing it, it's, I'm going to cause wrinkles. And at that time, I didn't know about this relationship with the eye. At that time, I didn't know because you know, I was 20 something. But it was a good idea that I stopped this so that I don't have to depend on that ring, the Botox, and I don't have to worry about this saggy eye too. Yeah. Another side effect from doing, uh, I don't want to do this anymore, <laughs> is that the um, corrugator muscle becomes so strong and then you're going to have some kind of a, you want to have a smooth eye, um, forehead in general, but you might get like, like here, not this smooth. And I, again, it's blue again, so annoying. I'm so sorry about that. I'm still trying the new camera, but you're gonna get like a bang. This muscle, macho, macho eyebrow will show up because you are, you are activating this one too. Yeah. This corrugator. So you, you don't want to do that. That's why you don't want to do that. So many unnecessary things happen. So please, let's be careful not to do this. Huh? I'm not going to do it now. By the way, I wanted to mention about this. This is just one opinion and I'm not a doctor. So, but <laughs> I learned this that because of this mm, eyeball and the fat is reduced and then mm, story, remember, right? So if you remove fat, eye back, by doing surgery, eye back surgery, eye back remover surgery, it might be okay as a temporary, but later you might need to somehow add fat or maybe not fat, a filler or something on the upper eyelid. Because once you lost it, you cannot bring it up easily, right? Because you lost it. So before you do surgery, if you're concerned about it, it's good to try to, mm, 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 and then this one, and then stop the bad habit. If you do those three things and you still cannot improve it, you might want to consider surgery, medical procedure. But in general, I think it's good to try something natural. And if it works, that's great. If it doesn't work, you can think about it. By the way, did you guys know that we have Coco Face Yoga daily courses? It's the most organized face yoga routine that you can try on daily basis, Monday to Sunday. Now let's summarize the three exercises and tips to minimize or reduce the metric line, the saggy eyes and the, what's the name, back, eye back <laughs> and hollow. <laughs> There's so many things. <laughs> any, any eye concerns around the eye concerns. So number one, exercise. Yep, exercise. Lower eyelid lift up. Yep, slightly moves a little bit, but not like, no, 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 no. Only lower eyelid. And you don't want to do, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Only lower eyelid. Yeah? We did this one, look up and look down. Uh, when you look up, you don't use this. Yeah, like this, oh, thing. Or oh, look down. Mm, 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 mm. Or you can touch it to feel it, whichever works for you. And you might not need to do this. Eventually, you want to be able to do look straight without finger and do it. And remember, to mewing, teeth apart, mouth closure, seal the mouth, lips, good, resting face, and do it. And second exercise is this one, pinkies. Again, every time I do this, it becomes blue. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, the, oh, so blue. Pinkies are on your eyebrow, da, 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 shoulder down, close your eyes, and then slowly open without raising your eyebrow or forehead. Then five, slowly, slowly squeeze. 
you can do this with the finger on or without finger. Without finger, don't squint, don't run here. Without finger is more advanced version. Then repeat three times, three rep repetition, only once a day. And third one is habit. This is all about what I, what I say. Exercise is not gonna help you reposition the shape of the face. Exercise help you achieve, master, better face movement by relaxing, by being able to re relax the red overworking muscles and activate more wake up sleepy muscles. That's the difference. I hope you, you, I know it's confusing, but eventually, yep, I hope you will, I think you will understand. Thank you so much, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.